Hey everyone, before we get into the video, I just want to say that this episode is brought to you by Eagle Island. It's a great game, available on PC and the Switch. Check it out! Your journey begins on Eagle Island. Available now on Nintendo eShop and PC. Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and I'm going to talk about uh, what happened at San Diego Comic-Con this weekend. I didn't follow any of it live. I'm, I'm going to be honest, guys. Like, I just... It's hard to care about Comic-Con anymore. Like, it just... I just don't care. It used to be like when I watched uh, the Super Bowl for trailers... And now I'm just like, eh, whatever. I'll see it eventually. I just, maybe because I'm pushing 30, I just don't really care to learn this news right away anymore. Whereas, like, a few years ago, I'd be all about it. I think last year I even live streamed me watching stuff for it. Uh, but I missed it this year, so I'm just going to go through whatever this article and Screen Rant said was the biggest news. And we're going to see if I care about any of it. Warner Brothers, Sony, and Universal didn't show up. Huh. I don't care about that. HBO showed a trailer for Westworld Season 3, which I don't watch, and I really want to. And His Dark Materials, which was already made into a movie called The Golden Compass, which didn't do very well. I remember watching that movie and thinking, there's something here. There's something here that could work. I like the polar bear with the armor, uh, but that movie did not work, and I'm not going to read the book. So hopefully this new show will retell the story right so you know what i care a little bit about that so big trailer drops uh this weekend there was uh jane silent bob reboot don't give a shit about that uh top gun maverick i forgot they were even still making a top gun sequel it's probably going to be about drones and how humans are better than drones uh don't give a shit i like that uh tom cruise like apparently surprised everyone at the terminator dark fate panel so I'm guessing he showed the trailer at the Terminator panel and everyone was more excited for that than Terminator. Which, you know what, if I had to choose, I'd rather see Top Gun 2 than Terminator 7. All right, the final trailer for It Chapter 2. I mean, I want to see that movie. I like the first one. Hopefully this one tones down the jump scares. But as far as being excited about the trailer, uh, it's whatever, it's just a trailer. There was the first footage of Terminator Dark Fate. Don't give a shit. I really don't give. I know they're bringing back the original John Connor. I don't care. I do not care. Official trailer for Walking Dead season. Th There's 10 goddamn seasons of Walking Dead. I bowed out after the second episode. So don't care about that. First look trailer for Star Trek Picard. Don't care. Uh, I like Patrick Stewart. I, I wasn't a big next gen guy. I watched a lot of it growing up. Not enough to remember specific episodes, but I'm more of an original series guy. If this was like five or six years ago, I'd all, I'd be all on board for this. Um, but uh, after Star Trek Discovery, I don't think I'm going to care about that. Again, Westworld, still haven't seen the first two seasons. I hear they're good, so I care a little. I care a little about a season three, because that means when I eventually do watch it, I'll have enough a bunch of episodes to watch. A slate of Arrowverse trailers. I like the Arrowverse, okay? I, I do. I know. I know. When it's good, it's good. When it's bad, it's kind of fun to make fun of. So I'm all on board for this. They're doing Crisis on Infinite Earths. That's something you probably can't do in a movie because it's so big. But this is a big TV universe full of characters. They can pull it off. Uh, we'll get more into that later as I go down the list. And first trailer for HBO's Watchmen. Don't care. All right, Marvel. Marvel announced 10,000 goddamn movies. They, the Marvel movies for days. Black Widow. It's going to take place after the Civil War. So I'm immediately not going to care about anything that's happening because I know she just falls off a rock in space at some point. Uh, Florence Pug? Poo? Pug? Florence Pug is in it, so I'm excited for that. She's had a really good year this year. Hopper from uh, Stranger Things. David Harbour is in it. Um... He was also in Hellboy, so hopefully this is better than that. I'm glad Black Widow finally got a movie. I feel like it's a little too late, and we've already seen her die. So I'm guessing this movie's setting up... It'll probably set up the Florence Pug Girl as the next Black Widow is what I'm guessing. But again, this is a movie that should have came out a while ago. Eternals. <laughs> you know, I'm almost 30. I think I mentioned that before. I'm finally getting to the point where I just can't recognize comic book thing. I don't know what the fuck the Eternals are. I know the Ten Rings. I guess this movie's finally gonna 
make up for the Mandarin not being the Mandarin in Iron Man 3, but I like that twist. I love the Mandarin twist in Iron Man 3. I really do. I thought it was very clever and really funny. Uh, so, of course, they're going to ruin it, so I don't care about that. Um, what I do care about is Ben Kingsley might show up again because his little short film ends on a cliffhanger where he goes to meet the real Mandarin. So... I care about Ben Kingsley being in the movie. I don't care about the rest of the movie. Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Uh, apparently Scarlet Witch is going to be in it. Yeah, sure. I didn't think they were going to do a Doctor Strange sequel. I like him more as a supporting character. Uh, I like Scarlet Witch more than Doctor Strange in the movies at least. So that should help balance it out. And Thor, Love and Thunder. I called it years ago. I wish... I got to find like a post or a tweet that I made. I called it years ago that the only reason they were doing Lady Thor was to eventually use it to bring Natalie Portman back in the franchise or at that point keep her in the franchise because she was, she really didn't like doing the second movie apparently. She wanted out and eventually she got out and I, I knew it. I knew when they did Lady Thor, I'm like, they're going to be like, hey, look, I know you don't like being the girlfriend, but look, she's Thor in the comics now. Don't you want to be Thor? And she probably jumped at that. She was like, yes, yes, I want to be Thor. The Falcon and Winter Soldier. Uh, they're still calling him the Falcon. Shouldn't he upgrade to Captain America? I guess that's what this movie will be about. They'll have like the shield and he'll upgrade the colors on his outfit and stuff. So I'll see that. There's a, there is a Marvel show called Loki. I'm sure this is about the Loki and Endgame from the timeline where he escaped. Uh, another show with Scarlet Witch, WandaVision. Again, I'm guessing this is a multiverse thing. Uh, what if? They're finally doing a live action Marvel What If. I'm excited for that one. Uh, and Hawkeye. Hawkeye's finally getting his own show. I really wish they did a Black Widow Hawkeye movie. That would have been pretty good. Anyway, uh, some more news here. Taskmaster is the villain of Black Widow. Okay. David Harbour is the Russian Captain America. So Russians are bad guys. That's It's in at the moment. Uh, Eternals, Angelina Jolie is in it. And Marvel's not done there. They're going to do Blade with Marshala Ali, who's already in the MCU, but they've reused actors before, so that's not that big of a deal. Although he was a pretty big character. Um, yeah, uh, I guess I care about that. I want to see what the MCU can do with Blade. Uh, I forget if it's a movie or a TV show. I think it's a movie. Um... Yeah, I was hoping they'd do John Boyega and go to, like, the British roots of Blade, but the general audiences don't care about that Blade. They like Wesley Snipes' Blade and how he affected the comics, so we'll see what happens with that. X-Men are coming back. Okay, we know. Fantastic Four. I'm more excited to see what MCU can do with Fantastic Four. I feel like they can do them right. X-Men, that's going to be hard to work X-Men into this series right now, but... Anything's possible, I guess. Okay, are we done with fucking Marvel? Okay, we're done with Marvel. Looks like the Walking Dead movie is taking Rick to Philadelphia. Huh. Wonder if they're going to film around me. A new Walking Dead spinoff? Don't care. Star Trek Discovery photos gave first look at the 32nd century. Don't care. Lower Decks is set in the next generation era. Okay, so there's a uh, cartoon coming out about, like, you know... People who work on the lower decks, and it's supposedly, supposedly the post-Next Generation era. It's a 30-minute cartoon. Hey, you know what? I'll, I'll give it a look-see. I care a little bit about that. That could be funny. That seems like something they should have done a while ago, so that could be funny. There's, like, a lot of jokes and parodies of what happens in the lower decks and like, you know, what, what if the story focused on the red shirts and stuff like that? So maybe that'll be good. Ugh, Marvel agents of shield will be ending after season seven. I thought it was supposed to end this season, but they got another season. Uh, I don't watch it live anymore. Um, I usually wait till they hit Netflix, but yeah, sure. Why not? The show's okay. It started off shitty, but that show got okay. Titan season two premiere. Titans was a surprise. Titans was a real surprise. I wasn't expecting to like that show that much, and I really got into it. And uh, Deathstroke's appearing, so hopefully he's as good as the Arrow Deathstroke. Uh, and Crypto, Superboy and Crypto are in it, so I'm on board for that. This I'm excited for. Brandon Routh will play Superman in Crisis of, on Infinite Earths. I thought they were going to do this last year with the whole, like, uh, whatever they were doing there with the 
dimensions changing and everything changing. Uh, so he's going to return as Superman. I liked Superman Returns for the most part. It's got a lot of problems. I think it could have benefited from a sequel. Um, so it's nice to see him get a second chance at Superman. Hopefully he'll actually talk, which he should. Uh, he's going to interact with that universe of Superman, sh which should be fun. I like that universe of Superman. I was hoping he'd wear the Superman Returns outfit, but he's wearing the, um, what's his name? Alex Ross uh, outfit with that cool, like, zigzag Superman symbol. Um, hopefully it's, like, that on the Superman Returns outfit. Like, they modify the Superman Returns outfit to look like that. I don't know. I'm really excited for him to come back as Superman. That should be fun. Hopefully he crosses over with his Adam I don't know. Again, the Arrowverse, it's not for everyone. It's not for everyone. It's It can be bad at times, but I enjoy it. Flash Season 6 will introduce the villain Bloodwork. I have no idea who that is. Uh, but sure, uh, Flash, is, Flash has probably been the most consistent of all the shows. Uh, Snowpiercer will premiere in spring 2020. They're turning Snowpiercer into a show. I still haven't seen the movie, but... Uh, sure, this seems okay. The Boys, Season 2, is already in production. I haven't watched The Boys yet. It looks pretty good, so I kind of care about that. Steven Universe, the movie, will release on September 2nd. I do not care. Marvel Comics revealed the lineup of their upcoming X-Men teams. I, I don't care. Marvel's Avengers includes character customization. Oh, they're talking about the video game. Yeah, sure. Why not? That seems pretty cool. Hopefully that game's good. So yeah, I mean, that was all that was on that article. I probably missed a few things, but I don't care. I just don't care. Uh, there were some cool things in there, but overall, I, I, I enjoyed just looking at the list and reading. I'm glad I didn't watch any of the shit live this year. It was fun in like 2008. 2009 when I was real into it, uh, watching it on, I think it was G4 on like TV. Like when The Dark Knight was coming out, San Diego Comic-Con was awesome. We got all the viral marketing and stuff for that. But now it's just kind of like, gotta do Comic-Con again. We gotta do it again. Uh, but yeah, what I do care about is Eagle Island, available on Steam and the Nintendo Switch. Check it out today. Oh, and also I have a uh, Patreon now. Uh, I could use a little extra cash if you feel like donating to Patreon. I do these VR vlogs. I'm doing commentary tracks. Uh, there's going to be bonus videos, and I'm going to start doing comic book reviews. I'm sorry, JokerFan279 is going to do comic book reviews. Speaking of JokerFan279, uh, there's bonus videos that have never been released of his that are finally going to get released. Uh, I tend to shoot things at cons and then forget about them, or I shoot things that are kind of topical and then I miss the window. Uh, but I'm just sitting on this footage, so I figured I'd release it for you guys. Anyway, check out the Patreon. Check out the store. Check out all that stuff, and check out Eagle Island. Goodbye.